Welcome to the eMotion LV1 video tutorials. In the last two lessons, you learned about sessions, which are complete mixer setups for an entire concert or event, or even a number of events. Now we'll look at scenes. These are snapshots that can be recalled at any time. Use the Scenes page to create, recall, and save scenes. On the left side of the Scenes page is the Scenes list. It shows all the scenes associated with the loaded session. A selected scene is highlighted blue, whether or not it's the active scene. User notes about the selected scene are shown here. Recall the selected scene to make it the active scene. If the current active scene is not the selected scene, it's highlighted green. Store saves the mixer condition to the active scene. If a scene other than the current one is selected, you'll be given two choices for storing the current mixer condition. Current stores the current mixer settings to the current scene. This overwrites the scene. Or store the current mixer settings to the selected scene. This replaces its contents. Scenes, unlike sessions, are not separate files. They're embedded into the sessions. To create a copy of a scene, click New. This creates a scene from the current mixer condition. You can then modify and save the new scene. To recall a scene, select it and click Recall. Use these arrows to recall and select the next or previous scene in the Scenes list. Recall is immediate. Drag a scene to change its position in the list. You can also copy a scene with the Copy button. Drag the divider to where you want to paste the copy. Double-click on a scene to change its name. You can also store and recall scenes from the Scenes menu in the top bar. This menu is visible in every window. Store updates the current scene. Store New creates a new scene based on the current mixer condition. Recall Scene recalls a scene based on its position in the Scenes list. Use the up-down arrows to navigate the list or enter its index number directly. Scene List shows all the scenes in the session. They are displayed in the order of the scenes list in groups of 32 scenes. A session can have up to 1,000 scenes. Hot Scenes enable you to instantly recall a scene from the top bar menu, regardless of its position in the scenes list. Use the menu at the bottom of the scenes list to assign the selected scene to a Hot Scenes position. Hot Scenes can also be assigned to user assignable keys. The MIDI button is lit when scene recalls are under MIDI control. Click the button to disable MIDI control. Use the MIDI control panel to set up follow program change or generate program change commands. The scope section sets which functions, channels, buses, and control groups will be affected by the scene change. Items not selected don't change when this scene is recalled. Scope is set for each scene, not by session. The top part of the Scope section sets which channel functions will change. These settings apply to all selected channels. This panel sets which input channels are included in the scope of the scene. A deselected channel does not change with scene recall regardless of the other settings. These selectors set which buses and control groups are in the scope of the scene. The All None button turns on and off all settings in the Scope panel. Scenes are the workhorses of mixer sessions. They carry the settings of single songs or parts of songs. Scenes can be recalled at any time without risk of clock-related mutes. 
In the next video, we'll study the last page of the show window, the Recall Safe page, where you determine what can and what cannot change when a scene is recalled. Thanks for watching this eMotion LV1 video tutorial. See you next time.